Today we rock it old school. What's up guys, Neil from Cardinal Lacrosse. Today we're gonna start a new series that we're calling Quick Hits. It's gonna be sort of reviews, but they're gonna be shorter, not, not like our extended reviews. We'll try to do a couple of them in one episode. First things first, for those of you that follow us on Instagram, you probably saw two weeks ago when our buddy George at Stick Doctor found a OG razor in perfect condition with factory stringing and still on the Warrior Alloy 2000 it was sold with as a complete stick. It was an amazing find. Back when I was first in college, the Warrior Razor was everyone's favorite head. Everyone played with it. All the big name pros, Gary Gay, Tom Marichek, Mark Million, all the Powells, they all played with Warrior Razors. Uh, it was an amazing head. I had one in college and when I left, I gave it away and I've always kicked myself for that because I absolutely loved this head. It's an amazing head. So I jumped at the opportunity to grab this one. Before we take a look at it, I wanna preface it by saying I'm not a stringer. This isn't a stringing channel. So you guys can critique my stringing job, that's fine. But it does what I need it to and that's all I really care about. Anyway, here it is. We strung it up with ECD Hero Mesh. As you can see, I strung it with a low pocket because I'm an attackman and I, and I one hand cradle, but because of the hero mesh and how soft it is and how pliable it is, the ball will actually shift really easily from here to here when I go to two hand cradle or when I go to shoot. It's actually kind of bagged out, but again, that's how I like it. The hero mesh is super lightweight. It feels really durable. It's really soft. I gotta, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with it. I never thought I would like a soft mesh. Uh, the way that I, I'm really, really enjoying this. I went with one shooter and a double nylon shooter across the top. I love this setup. When I have been throwing with it, it's thrown very consistently and very smoothly. And when I shoot with it, it's always exactly where I want it to be. It's been great to, to throw and catch with. And it, it's also got a, a great amount of hold considering how soft it is. I've re I really love this mesh. I threw it on the Pink Warrior Crypto Light. Um, which just kind of makes the all white head pop a bit. It's a, it's a lot of fun. I like this. I like this whole combination. It's been really great for me. Unfortunately though, uh, when I'm done shooting this video, it's gonna be put up here with my other sticks and it's just gonna be left there because if this thing ever breaks, I will cry serious man tears uh, after I lost my first one and I got now that I've got this one, I, I could never handle seeing it go again. So unfortunately it's probably gonna, it's probably gonna be stuck up there for a while. I'm probably not really gonna play with it too much. Maybe I'll, I'll try to find another one that I could actually allow myself to play with uh, because I really do love the way that this thing shoots and throws. It's been, it's been pretty amazing, especially considering how little technology there is in it by today's standards. You know, there's not many stringing holes. You know, it's not the lightest head in the world anymore, but it's been great to, to throw around with the past couple of days. So that's all we got for you guys today. If you like these quick hit segments, like this video, let us know, and we'll try to keep them coming. In the comment section below, let us know what piece of gear you got rid of that you wish you never had. Cause that's all I got for you guys today. We're back next week. Until then, I'm out.